Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm Welcome to Sweet Scoop pregame presented by Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and the farmers of the Walla Walla Sweet Onion. I'm in the press box at Joe Martin Field with Sweet's first baseman, John Glenn. Next year, he'll be a sophomore at Cal Baptist University. John, yesterday, 14 hits for the team and four hits for you personally. Do you feel locked in at the plate? Uh, yes, I do. It feels good to be out here. It's a good scene, great field, and just seeing the ball well. Some guys say that when they're in a groove offensively that the ball seems bigger or that the ball slows down. Do you feel anything like that when you're having one of these games? Uh, it definitely slows down a little bit. You're able to see it more. You're, you're not swinging at pitches that are out of the zone, and you're just getting your pitch. So we're here in Bellingham. It's one of two turf fields in the league. Both teams struggled a little bit uh, to handle the turf. The Swedes made a couple errors early on. I think the ball really gets up on you on the grass. Do you find it more difficult to play on, on turf as a first baseman or, or on the grass? Um, I don't find it too hard to play on turf. It's more easier hops to handle with, but if guys come through the ball too quick, then it definitely can get on you. Sweets have won a lot of games uh, come from behind recently. Yesterday we fell behind 3 nothing in the first inning and then again 4-3 to three later in the fifth. When we're in those situations and the team's trailing by a couple of runs, what's the chatter like in the dugout? Uh, sometimes teams can get more in their head. I don't think that's the case just based on the way that Sweets have consistently come back next year. But what are guys saying, saying to each other to fire each other up to uh, build that confidence if you get ready to go out and try to put runs on the board? Uh, everything's positive, you know. We're in the dugout just talking to each other, saying, like helping each other out on each pitch, learning from each at-bat. And we know we can never give up because we're a bunch of great, talented athletes out there. And if we just put the ball in play, we can make things happen. Is that normal, to have such a positive vibe even when you're down in the game? Uh, I haven't seen it, but this team has something special. We're a bunch of, like, everyone's college athletes. Everyone comes from a different um, um, culture. So... Everyone puts in their two cents and helps everyone out in the end. Tonight, the Sweets are going up against one of the league's top pitchers, Holden Powell. He's a right-hander out of UCLA. He's 4-0, a 1.30 ERA. He's been terrific tonight, but I don't think that we can't beat him. John, what are we going to have to do tonight in order to take down one of the league's top pitchers and climb past Bellingham in the standings? Definitely be aggressive after the fastball and don't swing at the pitches out of the zone. All right, John, thank you. I know you've got to get down to the field to take batting practice. So tune in tonight, 6.35 p.m., first pitch from Joe Martin Field, John Glenn and the Sweets, game two of three against the Bellingham Bells. We'll see you on the air.